Hi guys, welcome to Small Groups. Today we have um, an activity called Sentence Creation. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna elaborate on our Zoom um, meeting that we had the other day when we were doing building sentences, okay? So I just wanna kinda show you what we review, our review, what we showed you in our Zoom meetings, ready? Okay, so we know when we build a sentence or when we start a sentence, the first word, the first letter and the first word is always a capital letter. So I'm gonna build a sentence and we're, I'm gonna demonstrate that for you. All right, do, you see the big frog? And do is a question word, and I'm, and I'm asking a question, so it ends with a punctuation mark, and this one is called a question mark. Do you see the big frog question mark? Some of you built this sentence the other day, and you guys are really impressing me, and I loved listening to all of your awesome sentences. Let's do one more. The fish is small. Remember, it starts with an uppercase letter. The fish is small. And all sentences end with a punctuation mark. And this one is called a period. The fish is small. Do you see the big Do you see the big frog? Question mark. All right. So I can't wait to see the rest of your sentence creations. And you guys can take pictures of them and send them back to, to me through email or um, sh show them up to me in the Zoom meetings, okay? Can't wait to see them. I miss you guys, hope to see you soon, bye. Hi, Pioneers, happy Thursday. All right, for art today, we are going to make a pattern paper plate snake. It's gonna be really awesome. So you will need to pull out your paper plate from your take-home packets, or if you have a paper plate at your house, or you can just cut a circle on a piece of paper. That's totally fine, all right? Then we're gonna take a marker, voila, snake. Okay, because you're gonna draw oh your snake face and go whoop, just like that. And I added eyes and a little slithery tongue. Okay, and next up, you can color in your snake. You can use marker, paint, color pencil, crayon, whatever you want. You're just gonna color the whole plate like that until you get this guy, all right? Then we are gonna use the little squares in your take-home packets. Or you can draw them on, totally up to you. We're gonna make a pattern. And I'm going to make this pattern. I'm going to use, let's see, orange, orange, red, yellow. All right, orange, orange, red, yellow. Repeat, ready, orange. Red, yellow, repeat, orange, orange, red, yellow. Boom, 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 repeat. And you're going to continue doing this all the way around. Your whole little snaky, like so. We're almost there. Orange, orange, red. Complete the whole pattern. I don't know. <gasps> we are red, and the last one will be yellow. Like right there. <gasps> all right. Now that we glued all our pattern, or, or the whole pattern on. Wah, wah, hold on. One yellow fell off. It's hard to get them to stay on those rivets. All right. Next, you're going to take your pair of scissors. And when we use scissors, thumbs up, fingers in the bottom, and you, when you hold it, use your thumb up as well. And we're just gonna cut our little sneaky. And we wanna go around everything. And we wanna make sure his slithery tongue is there. Ready? 
Oops, I'm messing up our pattern. Try again. And I'm turning the paper plate as I move forward with the scissors. I hope you guys have so much fun making your paper plate snakes. I cannot wait to see what kind of patterns you make. And you guys can show me in our Zoom meetings later or tomorrow. I'll see you guys in a little while. Have a good day. Welcome back, pioneers. So our final for our final small group of the day, we're going to do our capacity, our catching fireflies capacity. And it'd be great if Ms. Kayla could talk. We'll work on that. All right. So I want you to be thinking about your like how questions and I want you to think about how many will fit into each jar and try and guess before we fill the jar okay so I'm gonna take an estimate and maybe I'll write them down on a dry, or a dry erase board okay so this jar is a full jar this is half do you see that line in the middle half and this is a quarter so um we're gonna see how many will fit here and how many will fit here and here so I'm gonna start with the um, full jar, I think, and the full jar, I can get 10 fireflies, and in the half jar, I can get, mm, let's go with six, and in the third jar, which is this one, I'm thinking I can get three, okay? So let's see if I am correct. Those are my guesses, or an est my estimation, okay? All right, so full jar, let's count. How many can we get in there? One, two, three, four, oops. Four, five, Nine, ten. Oh my goodness, eleven. So I could fit eleven, and my guess was ten. So I was so close, but it actually will hold eleven. You might be able to do a better job cutting, so you might get more in yours. I don't know. All right, let's move on to the half jar. Okay, let's see. So I guess it, we could kick it six. One, two. Three, four, five, six. Did we get six in there? We sure did. So I got that one right. We got six. All right. And the last jar, the one that's only a quarter of the way full. Okay. Let's see how many we can fit. And I guessed three, and we got that one right too. So I can't wait to see how many fireflies you were able to get in your jar and what your um, guesses were before that, okay? I hope you guys really enjoyed this activity. You can find this in your take-home packets outside, or you can um, print them from the online resources tab on your tadpoles report, okay? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed small groups today. I've had so much fun hanging out with you. I want to give you all such a big, big group hug. I miss you, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.